Hi, welcome to All Things LGBTQ+. Youth, Youth edition. edition. Today is June 3rd. 3rd, thank you, 2019. My name is Jules Caserta. I use they their pronouns to my right is? I'm uh, Jay Simpson, and I use they them pronouns. Also, happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month, everybody. It's June. It's June. This is exciting. I'm also a born in June. Gay. That explains a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Gay is so, born in June. Just for reference. You use their pronouns, your mm -hmm. name is Jay Simpson, mm -hmm. and you are? Oh, uh, I oh. am polyamorous. You're polyamorous, and that's what we're talking about. I almost that was a really went good through transition. the whole, I almost went just through the whole. Just list all the labels. Yeah, I almost went through it. We'd be here for hours. Hey, <laughs> it's not that long. <laughs> a little long. So, polyamory comes mm -hmm. from the Greek poly, meaning many or several, and the Latin amor, meaning to love, or amare, depending on what Latin scholar you're talking to. Mm -hmm. And for people who don't know, can you define polyamory for us? It is where you have multiple partners in a consenting relationship, and it can either be one person dating multiple people, it could be multiple people dating each other, it can be two people dating, and they're dating one other person, and that person is dating another person. Polyamory can get confusing a little quickly. Yeah, I was researching this before before this um, filming date, and I there was a lot. Mm -hmm. There was a lot there. It's like um, <laughs> it's me. like the 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 SpongeBob meme. It's not mm -hmm. this or this. It's this, um, and yeah. That it, went right up in my head. Have you? Did you not no, watch SpongeBob? No, I wasn't allowed to. So, <laughs> moving away from SpongeBob. <laughs> I have a few questions on my phone for you. Give me these questions. Yes. Is polyamory the same thing as an open relationship? I say no. Um, I don't know if Elaborate. every polyamorous person agrees, but I personally say no. Okay. Polyamory, having an open relationship is kind of to, ooh, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Having um, an open relationship is where you're in a relationship and you and your partner have agreed that you are okay to go do things with other people. And is that not what you just said Polly was? No, I'm, okay. because for me, okay. again, an open relationship I think of like we're dating, but if you wanna go have sex with another person, Okay, that's what I think of an open relationship as. Okay. Another thing with polyamory is it, it, it can be and it will be different for every person. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna be asking questions that are on my phone and if I sound rude, I'm very sorry. I am just confused. Go and ahead. quite ignorant. All right, next question. Is it different from cheating? And if so, how? It is different than cheating. Because I have had like an agreement to cheat. I, <laughs> I have been in multiple relationships where I have been cheated on, and I am polyamorous. Polyamory is about communication and consent. You need to m talk with your partner before doing things with other people. Mm -hmm. That's where the cheating comes in. Because just because you are polyamorous, it does not mean that you can go and suddenly be with this person without communicating with your original partner. Yeah. So, as a personal example, I had a girlfriend and... Cute. <laughs> and she cheated on me two separate times. And she was like, well, you're polyamorous, it shouldn't matter. And I was like, it does matter because you didn't communicate with me and tell me that you even had emotions for other people. Or I you just kind of like exist. I just like, exist. I mean, I'm, I have other things that put me in the community, I guess. Yeah. So I'm not like, oh, this is what puts me in. Like it. There shouldn't be any putting in. It's, I'm sorry. That's a sad character mm -hmm. that I think we've already talked about and if we haven't, we can later. <laughs> it just me. Yeah, but like, I can, I don't know how I'd feel if some straight person were to be like, oh yeah, I'm in the community, these are my two partners, and it's a perfectly straight relationship. 
I don't know how I would yeah. react, um, and I don't know how other members of the community would react. Okay. So is politics a love triangle? <laughs> no. I actually have this very common thing that I say to my friends. Well, not just my friends. I say it just in general. Um, why have a love triangle when you could just be in a polyamorous relationship? Um, you're right, though. Yeah. You're right, though. Wait, you're right. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Skip all the tension and just love. And just communicate. Yeah. That, I mean, that would solve so many books. Communication so would solve a lot of problems. So many YA Oh, my novels. God. It's such a common trope, isn't it? And I'm... I, I, I'm a sucker for it every time. Mm -hmm. just, there's so much. Fun. I mean, take like the biggest phenomenon of it: Team Edward or Team Jacob. Yeah, just be Polly, or Bella date both of them. Yeah, or none of them. That works too. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And then, what stereotypes have you run into? Oh, in, you're in, you're in just, your lifetime. You're just trying to have sex with multiple people. You just want orgies. You just want threesomes. <laughs> you just. Um, you, all you want is sex, um... So basically you're a slut. Yes. Great. That's, that. that's what everyone thinks. That's fun. Which, for me, is interesting because yeah. I'm demi. Yeah. I'm so. demisexual, and... <laughs> yeah, so... And I know ace people who are poly. So... so Demisexuality, because we brought that term into this bundle. Let's explain yes. that real quick. A little side tangent. Mm -hmm. Demisexuality is when, let me see if I get this right. Mm -hmm. You can experience sexual attraction, but only after a strong emotional attachment has been formed. Yes. Um, yes. For me, I mean. Slightly there, kind of. Yeah. So I, I mean, I can look at someone and be like, damn, they, they hot. hot. Like, <laughs> would smash. <laughs> but I wouldn't actually just go about it because it's like I, one night stands are not your thing. <laughs> one night stands would never be my thing. No, I'm not. I'm not down about that life. Um, I I feel like I need an emotional connection before anything else. Okay, cool. So that's back to Polly because that was a good little side tangent, mm -hmm. and I would love to go into ace identities later because there are a lot. There are a lot. There of are a lot. Ladies. I didn't know about a lot of them. Mm -hmm. I bet I was like, maybe there's I like, have ace. There's ace, there's gray ace. Um, that's all you can rest. Uh, demi we uh, already sexual, that one. Um, sex repulsed ace. Yeah. So just the stereotypes going circling back is yep. just like just sex. You just want sex. Just want. you sound like you were a follower of Pan. Uh, that's a Tying it back to the Latin thing that I mentioned mm -hmm. before. Yes. He's a forest goat man. He was a forest god, yes. He was one of the most um, powerful ones. He and was then... also shown with a uh, boner a lot of the times. Yes, because he was known for orgies. Because he was a sex god. Yes. Yeah. Does that connect to pansexual? I mean, pan means many. But also, could there be a connection? Let me just say yes. Just let me imagine it, because I mean, that could be really fun. I mean, not really fun, because he's kind of a really bad god. Yeah. But, like, he was there. This is not our topic. No. I mean, kind of. I mean, I mean I'm we're Pam. Edu I, I'm, we're I'm, educating I'm, you about Latin now. This is no longer a uh, Hi, welcome to Latin uh, one. queer show. Um, it's just we're teaching you about Latin. Yes. Because I'm qualified. Mr. I'm not Carol? qualified to be doing this. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here. I'm just a 15-year-old here being filmed. Anyways. I, mean, I can go off about Greek myths all Later. day long, so. Okay, and then we kind of touched on stereotypes. And then what are common misconceptions about the, commun the poly community and then poly relationships? Common so misconceptions? Yeah. Like, what do outsiders see and be like, what? People think it's polygamy. Just ruin my next question. My next question is: Is poly polygamy? Um, <laughs> so no. He just he stole my thunder. Okay. Polygamy is different than polyamory. You want to define polygamy? I don't know the exact definition to a fault, or but a good it's what? commonly <laughs> um, from the Mormon faith um, is where most people know it from, where one man will take multiple wives and he will be romantic. Is that legal? 
No. Oh. Um, he will be cool. romantically with all of them, and they are not with each other. Couldn't that be Polly, though? You said they, there could be one person dating multiple people when they're not together. Yes and no. Don't get mad with me. I'm just asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Um, <coughs> polygamy is not polyamory. Um, if you've ever, ha have you ever seen the show Sister Wives? No. What? Sister Wives is what it is called the wives of the man. They're called oh, sister wives. Oh, so they're wives. like sisters, but because they're this wa the wives of this one guy. Mm -hmm. Wives? Wives. 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 Sister wa wives. wives, but multiple wives. This is not a language show. We were just talking about Latin. <laughs> okay, so sister wives. Yes. So that's what they're called, but they are There was the um, wives. Got a it. TLC, I think, is the channel. Matter. It's the one that has, like, Say Yes to the Dress and all oh, those shows. Yeah, okay. Um, they, there was a show called Sister Wives, and it was about this one man, <clears> and <throat> he in the beginning of the show had three wives, and if you continue watching it, like this is a reality TV show. Um, yeah, it was a reality. It's real? Yeah, it was real. Okay. Um, if you continue watching it, you'll see that he, he gets another wife. And just like gay his wife from the well, show. Well, like I, I think he only voice. got another wife, like one other wife. Um, How? But they have, How can he get a guy to date me? He has like four wives. He has like. Is it an arranged marriage? No, like he would like, they're just all in love with him. Yes. But he had a whole bunch of children as well. And, like, this was also in his family. Like, I'm pretty sure his father How? M had multiple wives. Why and you, also, did he. Did you watch the show, like, a lot? Like, did you I grew watch up it? watching this when I was a child. Okay. But um, his father, like, in the course of the show, marries one of his wives' mothers. So one of. His that cannot sons. be legal. I mean, it's not legal to marry multiple people. True. Well, the law is just out the wind. Okay, so <laughs> tying it back, again, we're tying it back a lot to polyamory. So a common misconception is that people just think it's polygamy. Yes. Have you ever been mistaken for a Mormon before? I'm baptized Mormon, believe it or not. I don't practice the faith. I did not know that. I think I did know that. I just think I didn't, forgot. Yeah, I'm baptized Mormon, but I don't practice the faith. Nor polygamy. Nor polygamy, Just no. polyamory. I'm just polyamory. You practice polyamory. <laughs> every day. <laughs> every day. Every day I wake up and I pray to pair the goat god. Yes. Yes. Pray is your you gotta goat yell at trees and, <laughs> um... That's what he did. That's where the word panic comes from, is yep. that he would scream at trees mm -hmm. and scare the trees. Yep. Yep. I know too much about this. This is what public school does to you. Latin 1. Latin 101. It's, not, it's a weird class. Anyways. Um, da, da, da. So we already kind of answered how is it different from polygamy. Because mm -hmm. like, you, you skip a question. No, it's fine. Organic conversation is good. And then, how do you handle jealousy? Because this is where I'm really interested. <laughs> it's like, how? I would get so jealous. I mean, I'm like not... If my partner was with multiple people, I'd be like, no, be with me. Okay, so taking it back to the relationship I had before. With the me, girlfriend? Yes. She cool. was also polyamorous. So we... Fun. Uh, actually, we originally started in a polyamorous relationship, and that partner... Was there drama? The partner dumped us. Drama. Drama, yes. Wow. This is a drama channel now. Yes, welcome to um, Drama Alert. Spill the tea. <laughs> Spill the tea. We have our mugs, let's go. Yeah. Anyway, so we started as a poly relationship. Yes, the other partner broke it off with us. And then we it's now not a poly relationship. It's not even a relationship at all. <laughs> but for a period of time, it was yes. where it was just the two of you. Yes. And that, because you're both poly, though, it wouldn't be considered a polyamorous relationship. No, we were just in a normal relationship. You sound so disgusted. No, I was just trying to think of another word. I was like... Other than relationship? No, I was, what? I was trying to think of, like, if I should tack a word on the front of that, like... Straight. A gay relationship. You once told me that you wanted to be a straight lesbian. That was, like, five minutes ago. I was trying to say straight up, okay? And then I forgot the word up. <laughs> I want to be a straight lesbian. I want to be a straight gay man. That's possible. I, I forgot the word up. Okay? I forgot the word up. I forgot the Disney Pixar movie up. Okay, Jay. 
<laughs> so, how do you handle jealousy after that? <laughs> so, um, we set rules and guidelines to how we would handle it. Did you have to sign a contract? No, we didn't sign a contract to sing Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, okay. Um, okay, that's weird. Okay. We just agreed as a couple, you know, communication. That's key. So many finger guns on this show. Um, oh, I know how to do. Okay, anyways. I, I, stop. I keep breathe. going on tangents, and I'm sorry. It's fine. Anyways. You're amazing. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, so we set um, guidelines of how we wanted our relationship to be. So we agreed from the beginning that if we wanted another um, partner in, because she was jealous, even though she was polyamorous, that if we wanted another partner, we both have to be <coughs> dating that partner. Okay. Um, so we actually at one point tried to include someone into our relationship, but they kindly said no, mainly because they had a crush on someone else at the time. Okay. So we actually did almost like, have another person in our... Would that be, like, actually, like, including them in, like, the romantic aspect, or, like, just a threesome? Not just a threesome. Like, we wanted to... No. We, we wanted to date them. We both wanted to date them, and... So we asked her, and she actually thought it over because she was, she liked us, but she ha she wanted to see where it was going with this other person. She liked both of you, so she was also poly. Yes. So it's just a poly triangle. It was a poly triangle. Yes. I was trying to think of a mathematic term that sounded like poly triangle, but I couldn't think of anything. But it does sound like weird geometry. Yes. So um, how do you handle jealousy? I, it sounds like so far, it sounds like you didn't. <laughs> well, so I didn't, hmm, it really depends, because um, I didn't get that much jealous. I, I don't get- That much jealous? I don't get as jealous as people expect me to do. Okay. Apparently people expect me to be super jealous. People also expect you to be straight, things change. No one expects me to be straight. I know, but when you're Everyone born, expre people were like, a child is going to grow up to be straight. But, mm -hmm. like, psych mom, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so you don't experience jealousy. I do. I mean, people, everyone experiences jealousy. I just don't experience... I personally um, am not a super jealous person unless I am given reason to be. I'm not, I'm not hop on the jealousy train kind of person. What a weird analogy. Do you think that not being very jealous person kind of helps you with communication when it comes to? Oh yeah, I mean, like you I, kind of if, more if like... I'm, if I see some, like if I see my partner like showing like romantic feelings, like, or like, you know, you know how you get when you have a crush on someone? When I yes, see, I know. When I see that, and I'm like, hey, do you have emotions for this person? And if they say no, I'm like, okay, cool. And if they say yes, and I'm like, do you want to date them? Like, is this a thing that you want to pursue? And I'm totally fine if you want to. I just want to speak with this person. Just like interview them. And I, just them. be like, are you good for my part? <laughs> no, like, I just want to, like... See, I would do that because I'm jealous. I would want to have good communication with the other partner as well. I wouldn't want to not know them. So would you, do you, is it like, because you know, you said like there could be one person who's dating two different people, but those two different people aren't dating, mm -hmm. right? Is that a relationship that you do? Or is it just like, I, there's just one person dating this one person and another person and they're all three of them are dating? I mean, I would. Is it like, do you, is it like a different identity inside the community? Like, oh, I'm a, single or I'm a plural no I don't know um I, I'm just... no not that I've heard of um if people it, it really does depend on the relationship and how people communicate because yeah. with with any relationship communication is key but with polyamorous relationships it's extra key. extra key parakeet. so parakeet yes uh-huh Listen, man, I'm just saying words that come to Are my Are you just brain. doing word association games now? I love word association games. Mother. <laughs> um, I made a reference, but I, if anyone else there watching this got that, you're cool. You know that I got it. I know that you got it. We shared awkward eye contact, <laughs> and you whispered under your breath a curse at me. I said mother, father. 
Yeah, sure. Anyways. The, all these questions on my phone that I got a few of them on, offline. Online? Offline? I got them off online. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I don't actually think these things, but it's just kind of from like a blog. Mm-hmm. Like a mom blog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking a mom about? Mom blog? Mom blog. I want to meet the mom writing about polyamory. It'll be me as a parent. <laughs> I have a blog all about this stuff. Uh, just about polyamory? <laughs> Anyways, are you just afraid of commitment? Mom blog wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing more at the mom blog part. Thank you. Um, I'm glad. I personally, no. People really out there. I don't care about commitment, commitment. People out there, probably. I mean, there's probably people who are afraid of commitment, and then they'll be like, oh, I'm, 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 I'm poly, yeah. Yeah. But I personally... Would that just be considered cheating? If they aren't actually poly, they're just saying it so they can not be committed? <sighs> yes, I feel, personally. Another thing that gets me is when people are in a committed relationship and then suddenly they're like, why don't we try poly? It sounds like you're offering a threesome. That sounds, that doesn't, yeah, that's it's literally threesome. just someone going, hey, why don't we do a threesome? It's basically Spice when people are like, when people are like, oh, you're bisexual, so you want to have a threesome. <sighs> I don't know how many times I've heard that in my life, and I'm not even bi. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm 15. Stop asking me about that. One time when I was, um, a little quick tangent, one time when I was at a convention, I was walking with my friend, and, and she was 15 at the time, and she was in a cosplay, and a person came up to her and was like, hey, Frisk, you 18, want to come do this photo shoot with me? And she was like, I'm 15 and a child of the Lord, and ran off. <laughs> I'd say tangent. We were at a, a queer prom. And we were like dancing and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then this one person came up to us and they were like, You two should date. Yes. And I, them and I was like, That's illegal. That, well, it's not illegal because I'm Aren't still. You a ch- no, I'm 17. Whoa. It'd still be weird. I will be 18 in. How many days till the 18th? <laughs> 18 minus 3, Jay. What? Five? 15? <laughs> And I just stood on you. I think I just spell on you. Five days. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, okay, then in 15 days it'll be illegal. Yes. Good to know. Side tangent over. Um, but not like, over? Like, just like, just a quick thing. Being okay, in a public then. space doesn't equal consent. Like, at a dance or at a convention. Cool. That's a good lesson. <laughs> it's just a quick thing because we talked about thing. convention and dance, and at that, and that, at that, that dance, time. I had someone pull Twizzlers from my boobs. So, thanks for sharing. You should. Max was there. Thanks for sharing. Mm-hmm. I'm glad I know that fact about you. Um, this is another question from Mom Blog. Uh huh. What Mom Blog? I don't think I asked. Finished the question. Did you? Are I'm, you afraid of? Are you just afraid of commitment? I'm not. And if someone was, and they claimed that they were poly, it's just people, people you would consider it cheating. I would. Fun. All right. Next question from my blog, TM. Is it just to have a lot of sex? Basically, like the stereotypes we were talking about before, do you just like orgies? Um, do you I dislike am, orgies? I'm not a follower of, uh, of the, the goat. The goat um, god. The goat yes. god pan. I, I'm not... Um, He's a god of goats. I'm not an active orgier. Um... When I started this show, I never thought I'd be discussing things like this here. <laughs> I never thought I'd be asking my friend, so do you do orgies? <laughs> do you partake in the goat god orgies? <laughs> you should partake in the goat god orgies. It's live TV, we can say anything. It's not live. Why did I say it's live? It's TV, we can say anything. It's cable TV, we can say anything. There we go, I got it. Not anything. Not anything. I did give you guidelines of what you were allowed to say. Yes, I know. I've been on the show before. Yes, and you made kissy noises into the microphone. Stop it. <laughs> All right. So is it just to have a lot of sex? Is it just orgies? No, I know asexual people who are sex repulsed who are poly that but just did, want romantic relationships. That, that just like love. Same. Love. Same. I just, uh, just, I'm just lonely. I just want love. I just want a relationship. That's mood. You're in a relationship. Shut up. I don't know. You don't get to be like, oh, I'm so lonely, but you have a boyfriend. I have a boyfriend. 
All right. This, we also said the same word, so it's a good segue. Can asexual people be poly? Yes. Yes. They can be. Wow. Asexual people can be whatever they want. People can be whatever they want. Yes. Do whatever you want. Give asexual people some love. Please. We need it. <laughs> we need romantic love. Not sexual. Please. Thank you. They just, they just want hugs. Give they just hugs. want hugs. Just cuddles. That's all. Just want cuddles. Maybe I, some kisses. I think I told you the story, but when I was questioning everything, I screamed to my best friend, I just want someone to cuddle me. And they looked at me, and before I even knew I was ace, they went, you're ace. And then a week later, I came back, and I was like, I'm ace. So that's fun. Side tangent about asexuality. Um, but I'm not poly. Yeah, a lot of people don't think I'm, um, I'm demi, because I act sexual. How do you act sexual? And just like, I mean, you're friends with me. Yeah, the dance. <laughs> but then I had, like, one time I was in a relationship with this person, and I started talking with them about that, and then I had a panic attack, because we were, like, a week into the relationship, and I was like, nope, not ready. Nope, 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 nope. You don't even have to be Debbie to have for that, that to happen to you. Mm -hmm. you, start, you start ready for sex. Yes. Yes. But personally, I'm Demi, so. Per yeah, I know it. What are you doing? That's mine. It's very cold. Yes, I run quite cold. Anyways, so to wrap this up, mm -hmm. what I generally like to do or try to do is a takeaway mm -hmm. and then the little outro, which is basically the reverse of the intro. Mm -hmm. So takeaway. What is a sentence takeaway that you want people to... Polyamory is not polygamy, and it is all about communication between partners. And I guess my takeaway is consent. Yes, consent. Also... Mom blogs are weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's, the internet is a weird place. Especially when we're searching polygamy <laughs> and polyamory. And is it just threesomes? It My Google search history or is, is it? screwed. What? It's the SpongeBob joke again. <laughs> so listen, you tried with the SpongeBob joke and it did not work. Anyways, let's end this, okay? So, this has been All Things LGBTQ. Youth, Youth edition. edition. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye bye.